And as a caregiver, Lisa, what do you know now that you wish you knew before your mom developed Alzheimer's disease? What, what advice do you want to leave the audience with? I think that you need to be a warrior of wellness and that if you take better care of the caregiver, you're likely to have better outcomes for the care receiver. There is no caregiver heaven for doing this by yourself. It is not a path you can walk alone. You've heard everyone say that today. Become a master delegator. And then focus on what you can control. And your, your, your team that you're coming up with and your resources, uh, it may not be your biological family. It may be your logical family. Use them, get skilled in learning to ask for what you need by being as specific as you can because Dr. Papa said early on, you know, it's exhaustion. You don't have enough hours in the day and people roll their eyes and say, oh, really? You want me to exercise? You want me to sleep? You want me to meditate? All I can do is, you know, get to the next morning. All that's true. Uh, that's why you really need a team of people and you need to kind of let go of some of those things so you can focus on nourishing yourself, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Lisa, everything you're saying is just so important for people out there. Thank you so much for sharing your personal story with us today.